Hi, I'm Robert. I come to you as an automobile enthusiast that has maintained, serviced, and repaired my own vehicles in excess of 30 years. I currently drive a car with over 230,000 miles on it, and I once had a car that had over 400,000 miles on it and ran very well. While you're watching the video, please watch a step or two ahead. Sometime the current step is better explained in the next step or two. Also, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you benefit from the information. Okay, I'm going to do an oil change on this Volvo XC90. It's a 2007 model. All right, here's the tools and equipment I use to change the oil on this XC90. I got a magnet to fish the drain plug out of the oil pan once it's full of oil. I got the screwdriver that I knocked the crush washer off the oil pan with. I got those quarter inch tools, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and the short extension in case you have the splash pan under it which this one didn't I'm sure that'll get it all a new crush washer a new oil filter I only use OEM style oil filters I got a 36 millimeter socket to get the oil filter housing off I got uh, two 3 8 inch ratchets a long one and a standard one 17 millimeter socket for the oil filter bolt I got the 3 8 to half inch adapter for my socket there a short extension and a long extension and then I got two gallons of oil because it calls for just about eight. So that should be everything you need. If you've got any questions, let me know. I also use a drain pan to catch the oil, recycle it, and I use a couple of rags to uh, clean up my mess. Okay, the hood support on this is weak, so I went on ahead and supported it with that uh, piping I have. Take the oil cap loose so it can vent while it's draining. Go under the vehicle a little bit toward the passenger side. This car doesn't have a splash pan under it, so the oil bolt is right there, a little bit on the passenger side of the drain pan, of the oil pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt to start draining the oil out. Make sure you have a good size drain pan because that's supposed to be almost 8 quarts in there and it was a 17 millimeter bolt. So if your bolt's original, it should be about a 17 millimeter. Next thing you want to do is take your 36 millimeter half inch socket, put it on the oil filter housing and turn that off because that's where your oil filter cartridge is. If you don't have a 36 millimeter socket, a standard large oil filter wrench will fit on that housing. Just a little hard to get it on there and get it loose. Okay, that's what the oil filter housing looks like with the cartridge on it. So you go ahead and swap that out, put the new cartridge on. Okay, to get the filter out of the housing, you just pull it real hard. The new one fits in there pretty snug. Push it all the way down as far as it'll go. Then the uh, seal, I went on ahead and pulled off the old seal. I lubricated the new seal with oil before I put it on. Now I'm going to go ahead and screw it back on the housing. Take a glance in there and make sure everything looks fine, which it does. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this filter on there. All right, the torque setting is right there on top of the oil filter housing. So you can use that to set the torque. Okay, I tightened that oil filter housing back in, and it went in kind of slow. It's kind of strange, but it did tighten down. Just take your time doing that. Then I came down here and installed the oil bolt in the pan. Got that torqued down to 18 foot-pounds. Put the new gasket on it. Now it's time to fill the vehicle up with oil. So I'm going to fill it up with 7.5 quarts. Run it for a few minutes and measure it and see how much I need to top it off. Okay, I filled up the oil with seven and a half quarts of oil. I wiped down the housing and the bolt area, make sure they were clean and dry so I can leak check them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle, let it idle for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna take it for a short test drive, park it on a level surface, shut it off, let it sit for five minutes and check the oil level and top it off if it needs to. 
If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.